Hi, Ken. How Thank are you? Thank you for having me. You I'm bet. well. Good. How about you? You know, I can't complain. And you wouldn't want to hear it anyway. You know what I mean? Yeah. So what's up? Well, uh, I have been dreading just going to my job every day. and Oh, no. Don't want to keep going into life that way, you know? Yes, and I do. It's just not a way to live your life. And I really want to live out my purpose for yeah. what I need to be and help people and what I'm gifted and talented for. And I feel like I came in to my job one day and it just hit me like, why, why am I at this job? Interesting. It's, what, ha- how long ago was that? Honestly, this started last year and I've been working as a receptionist at the same health center for four years now, starting this month. What happened? Or, or should I ask, should I ask, um, what was your emotion like prior to that day when it just hit you? I just felt complete burnout and overwhelm. I think that's when it just hit me the following day. And I'm just thinking. Uh, so my point I is, is yeah, I get that. But I'm saying, was it was it better? Was it good? And then all of a sudden, bam! Or was it just the realization that it had been slowly getting worse, and you and then you realize one day, oh, this crept up on me. I'm trying to get a handle on yeah, on what it changed. Like a snowball effect, like completely getting more worse and worse. Honestly, Got not it. getting better. And then at one point, so really, you knew it was getting worse. But you yeah. were kind of biting your lip, and then one day you hit the wall, and you went, I can't keep this up. Yeah. Okay, got it. And yet you have for another year, right? Yeah. Okay. Bless your heart. What's it, what's, uh, what are you experiencing now on the way into work? I'd love our audience, if you don't mind, just to share. You share with our audience what you're feeling driving in and walking in. I think my mentality is just, okay, I have this job. I need to provide. I need to do what I need as an adult and just go ahead and get the job done. But at the same time, it's like, you can't keep saying that to yourself continuously. Yeah. And then when you're feeling just this dread and it just, you can only tell yourself so many times. Yeah. So I just come to that point that, uh, I'm like feeling depressed sometimes and just feeling anxious yeah. and stressed. Yeah. So that's, Kind of what All right. continues. So, through. what do you think is keeping you there a year after you realize I'm at my breaking point? I think honestly, doubts and fear. Um, thinking, is there something else? Could I even venture out to something else? Um, I'm going to be honest, I've been comfortable. Uh, and I'm so used to doing what I'm doing, so I'm just wondering. Yeah, but can you're I miserable. You're comfortable yeah. and miserable at the same time. You're comfortable yeah. in. You can pretty much do this thing with half your brain engaged. Is that is that right? Yeah. That's yeah, right. but you know what sucks about that is your heart's completely disengaged. Yeah, and then right. I see that in my work. Yeah. Yeah, of course you do. So. When I asked you what's keeping you from it, you said fear and doubt, and I love your honesty. And the way I define fear is I'm worried that something bad is going to happen if I step out of my comfort zone. Does that feel right to you? Yeah. Yes. And doubt is I don't believe that something good is out there for me. So I'm just going to suck it up and deal with misery. Does that sound yeah. about right? Yeah, it does. All right. So let's, let's, let's hone in on what I think you've probably spent a lot of time thinking about, which is other options. And I want to really see if you've got a couple of ideas of what you would like to do that if fear and doubt didn't exist, you'd be waltzing in there with a bit of a sachet. Is that making sense? Yeah. All right. Let's forget fear and doubt for a moment. We'll come back to them. What is it? What are a couple of possibilities you've thought about or you maybe even long for, but fear and doubt are keeping you from going after it? Well, I thought of going back to school. I love learning. I love reading. I love writing. And but school's like, not going to pay. No. So I'm, I want to go beyond school. Go to school to yeah. do fill in the blank. Mm-hmm. Um, honestly, I just thought of little small positions. If I can do something that that actually. Um, goes through my passion, which is I would love to tutor uh, kids 
And because I, again, I work at a health center, which is with a pediatric office. So I love working with kids and youth. So you love, um, you love instructing, guiding, encouraging. Is that what I'm hearing? Yes. Oh, wow. Did you hear that? <laughs> Amaris, did you hear yourself? Yeah. You, let, let me, let, you have been like, uh, 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 the whole call. And when I asked you, if you want to instruct, guide, encourage, you went, yes, that was amazing. <laughs> so Amaris, we're, we have got the tuning fork. So do you have to go to school to start tutoring? Technically, no. If I could do it starting volunteering and building experience. Wait a second. What what would be the areas that um, let's say let's say you and I lived let's say I lived in Hartford, and uh, mm-hmm. my wife knew you from church or from something 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 and yeah. and our kids needed a tutor and and she was talking to you about it. What would she say that our kids were struggling with? Where you would go, oh, I can help them. What what would what would she have to say? What would our kids need that you would go, oh, I can help with that? To say that oh, I just really need this help with my kid just succeeding in that and i i would just say yes I would no love to no help I'm, I'm sorry i'm doing a horrible job what what <laughs> what subject matter do you go i can help your kid uh it would be writing yeah just creative writing what else um, even uh i've helped kids with math uh Anything that's within, yeah, math, writing. You got me now? You see what I'm doing? We're creating a menu. Amaris, if you, I tried to create a scenario where you got out of your head. Yeah. So my whole point was, you can help kids at certain levels. You know what your limitations are on math. You know what your limitations are on creative writing. Like, so for instance, all I'm trying to get at is where are you gifted? Where do you have a pretty good strength of knowledge, fundamental knowledge, combined with the fact that you can teach and instruct and encourage just about anybody. So now all of a sudden, you can start tutoring now. You have to volunteer. You need to start a tutoring business this weekend. Okay. <laughs> you think I'm joking. No, it's just interesting because a lot of people even say to me, like, wow, you look like a teacher, and say that to me, and I, I'm just like, okay. Validation. Yeah. Validation. <laughs> huh? Right there. <laughs> I mean, everybody knows you. It's like, you even freaking look like a teacher. Yeah. Now, here's my point. Um, do you have a college degree? No, I only have a certification in biblical okay, studies. All right, so here's the point. You can't teach in a public school, and that may not be your jam anyway, but let me tell you what you can do. You can get some more certifications that would allow you to do some maybe training in certain areas. You're not limiting yourself to kids and math and creative writing. You know, I wonder in Hartford, Connecticut, where are there any local government um, agencies or, or state agencies where uh, maybe they need people to teach immigrants English language? Or yeah, I'm making stuff up. I'm literally just ideating right now. None of those things may be the thing you want to do. But I can tell you this, you don't need to be volunteering. You need to start a tutoring service this weekend. And I'm going to say it again. And you know what you do? You go on Facebook uh, or you email all your friends you start bulletin boarding it and you go, hey, if you need a tutor for this, 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 and this, I'm your gal. Here's my phone number and email. Love to hear from you. And you set your rate. You do a little research and you figure out what the rate is and you start tutoring. And then you start going on job boards this weekend and start looking for jobs that you've got the qualifications for that just require, hey, maybe entry level training or whatever for this organization. Maybe I can get an HR and do some training there. But as long as you are instructing and training and guiding people, you're going to be a happy camper. Yes or no? Yes. All right, then. Hang on the line. I'm going to help you a little bit more. I'm going to give you the get clear assessment. I want you to take it. I'm going to give you the proximity principle and paycheck to purpose to help you along the way.